we cannot communicate without technology. I think the irony of electronic media, electronic communications, is that it really separates people. It doesn't bring them together. It isolates people. Everybody knows such opinion like technology. This is, you know, this is something very cold. Technology doesn't have a spirit. That you know, this is uh, we have to escape from this technological world back to nature. But you know, something was uh, uh, the word is just covered up of own you know lack of imagination, lack of education, lack of <laughs> you know energy to really study something and, and be serious. <laughs> I don't think it's possible to do anything without technology. And my definition of technology does not only include um, artificial machines, manufactured machines. I think that art always was done with the most sophisticated tools um, in, 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 in the time uh, first. And uh, art always is connected with something which opens some doors for the next, for, for the tomorrow, for, for the next, you know, for our future. And, uh, Everybody who is right now connected with some kind of electronics, there is contemporary art. <laughs> All technology, everything we have, from this chair I'm sitting on, to a coffee cup, to this table behind me, uh, to this camera you're using now, to uh, the most advanced computer in MIT, all of that technology at one time was advanced technology. I mean, at one time a chair was the most cosmic thing that anybody had ever seen in their lives, you know? <laughs> And it's just a pr the process of history, you know, makes, moves things from the conscious awareness to the unconscious. Technologies are annoying. Technology is a real pain in the ass. It's, limber it's liberated, but it's also a weight. You know, when you work in, in a high-tech situation, everyone goes, that's nothing more than a lot of high-tech, because that's all that someone can see. But the virtuosic ability of a musician or, or the, the Barishnikov ability to take off straight in the air, you don't say, well, that's just high tech. Of course, that's what that is, too. I want technology to disappear. I want it to go below the surface. Technology is always misused, you see. Everything that we can do in video comes from learning how to destroy. Um, all the digital technology and, and ADO and Mirage and things like that weren't developed for television. They were developed out of um, defense systems. And that was a kind of a trickle-down byproduct from the defense, defense research. For Cornelius, and the Holy Spirit fell upon him, the Apostle Paul said in Romans chapter 13 that uh, the man who wields the sword wields it not in vain because he's a minister of God. And so, you know, in a, in a, a free society, in a sense, the police, the military are God's special envoy. So the ultimate destination of all technology is to become invisible. Uh, the media artist no longer is the, the lonely soul in his or her electronic garret. It's now someone who is pretty defiantly involved in mainstream culture.
time was the aspect of video that I first admired. Manipulation of that real time was what got me involved in video editing and the computer control of an individual frame. Now within that frame I could control parcels of information. So we're getting closer and closer and closer to being able to address each individual pixel. What I'm looking for now, I think, is a way to not let the technology be the first step in what I do. I'd rather have it be a content that I care about first and everything else come later. Probably the greatest artwork is the art of the funding. Mm -hmm. Probably the greatest way of, of expressing the art of the 20th century is the deal. and. The, the deal memo, the contract, the revenue, the uh, distribution deal. Yeah, John, you know, I met him in um, Paris, you know, and he, and then I was doing uh, some joke and he was the only one guy who smiled, so I thought he was a smart guy, you know. Living with it is different from visiting it. it is. Confronting it is more difficult than ignoring it is less fun. What a life. Too bad. It's only all who say and what make it real because it doesn't see at all. Well, what make up real we live? What make this anything, anything less than real cause it whoa and by right it doesn't exist. How can we be having this discussion? Who say it's a whoa? I who do say which aspect of a given real aren't real. Is it your life? You do. If you're not, you know, horrified by seeing something that's created electronically, if it's not a landscape shot on 35 millimeter, but a landscape designed in our heads and done on paint box, you know, if you're not afraid of that thing, you can look for content and find it in some and not all of everything we do. Video now is sort of everywhere we are. It's sort of permutate, permutated our entire culture. And I give video art a great deal of credit for that, as much as I give MTV a certain amount of credit for that. I also give video art a great credit for influencing MTV far and above what's generally acknowledged because of the, the non-linear nature of what video artists were doing 10 years before there was MTV. Whoa. Lagalina Vecchia, Fabuon, 